Hello everybody. So, Alchemist. I will be doing a quick video um, just uh, showing you some of the, you know, basics, outlining a few things of the Alchemist class, the very new class that I love. Um, I don't know if it's because it's like a fresh new class, but it's my favorite at the moment. Uh, and I just wanted to showcase it a bit. Um, so let's just step in a reaper quest, you know, I'm going to show off my stats a bit. Uh, later on down the road, I will be making a, another video, uh, one that's a little more detail oriented. Uh, that just displays more, you know, a, a leveling guide, perhaps, um, just something with a little more oomph. This is just going to be a real quick thing. So Alchemist, you can see here, you know, you get some pretty neat buffs, greater evolutions, which give you four alchemical bonuses to an ability score of your choice. Pretty fancy. That's more DCs right there. Just added two to my DCs. That's fun. Elemental skin. Bumps your resistances up. Gold skin. Makes it so you can take another hit, potentially. GH, that's always fun. More skills, more saves, all that stuff. This is for my destiny. So, <clears throat> so in Reaper mode at the moment, I'm at 107 DCs without really any past lives that benefit it. Actually, no, I don't have any that'll benefit from my DCs. So with that being said, you know, if I get three conjuration focuses from three cleric past lives, that'll bump that up to 110. If I get the gear that I'm missing, like I'm going to get the legendary Mist Fallen orb in this slot, that's four more to my DC, so that's 114 right there. Um, I'm also missing some boots, uh, which will have quality Intel 5. Now if I change some things around on my destiny, get another Intel here, there'll be like six Intel between the boots and that, and that's another three DCs. You could see this adding up pretty fast. That's without even taking Uloth pots or anything fun like that. So it it's uh feels pretty powerful on, on that regards, you know. Not too many things are gonna save against you. Even in, in uh or save against your spells. Even in like end game shine stuff, you know, if you bump your DCs up to around one twenty, I think you'll be pretty decent. I think you're uh, you're set up pretty well at that point. So, another cool thing you can see, look at my saves. Most of them are based off of Intel except for Fortitude, which I got bumped up um, from Draconic, you know, no fail on one, I got some more natural armor, more Fortitude. And then you see in Reaper I picked up Fortitude as well. I only have 54 Reaper points, don't make fun of me. <laughs> also this is my very first video, so like... Uh, you know, I don't know, I'm a bit nervous, I guess. Got like some stage fright going on, even though I'm the only one in my house right now. Um, it's just kind of funny. Oh yeah, and I'm not even, I don't even have my stone on right here. It's 90 more MRR maxed out. So another cool thing, pretty easily you can get your dodge chance to max. Now I think if you get an augment, don't quote me on this, but I think that will be 2 more percent dodge chance max, and that will bring me up to a 29 percent dodge. If you had more past lives and if you're going the gnome route, you know, you could get 3 more to your dodge. So 3 and 2, that will bring up 5. So that your dodge will be 32 percent. Pretty cool. Defense chance 58, displacement. So all those going into play... You might potentially be able to take a hit or two in, in like, R10s, you know. There is nothing more satisfying than having a Doom Reaper chase after you, and you're like, oh god, oh god. You know, your PDKs on timer, your, your sprint boost. Uh, you don't have time to use bottle boost sprint because it'll smack you and kill you. So when you see that windup of that Reaper, you know, going to smack you, and you're just thinking you're going to die, like, it's going to smack your face off, and then you just see a dodge pop up, it's like, whew. Thank God I get to live another day, and then you run away through their little, like, gnome legs. Just perfect. You get flyby attack, too. I picked that up. Why not? Um, trick to end game is just to not get hit. So, before a fight, if somebody calls Reaper, 
just boop do that sprint it's a little bit of a wind up so that's why I do it before the fight now if you use PDK first fun fact if you use that first it doesn't put the sprint boost the bottle boost sprint on timer now I know what you're also thinking you can pick up the sprint boost it's nothing special you could pick it up from you know what? what is that tree you can pick it up from falconry but falconry is only 45 percent you gotta spend the ap for it alchemist gets it automatically they had some pretty neat things so also let's see here um while spiking my spell power goes up to 1210 not bad still missing a few things as i said also um, as you can see, spell critical multiplier 97, spell crit chance 82, with, or 62, so with Imperium Magic that'll be 72, not too bad. With the, with the past lives even more. Um, now in a perfect world, I will get the raid goggles, I think it's from Too Hot to Handle. Um, making it so I can get rid of this Arc Steel Brim. You know, for the spell focus mastery, because I'll get spell focus mastery on this. Uh, I'll also get the insightful spell focus mastery for on these goggles as well. So I'll open up some gear slots so I could keep this. I could keep this for the five percent extra crit chance. I don't have to get the mist fallen. I could get a different helmet like the legendary hard and hide helmet. Get some more armor class, some more fortification. Some champs lower this down. You do not want to get crit some other fun things so that's a little bit in the gear you know I just threw on some stuff crafted this have the shattered onyx this for pairing uh, this isn't even complete you see I didn't even put any filigrees on that so now let me show you how I spike here too I'm sure you all know about it if not you know um you could look at this thing being an alchemist. It's pretty wordy. I'm not going to get into it in detail too much. But basically, when I spike into the pyrite reaction, I get a negative 50 enhancement bonus to spell point cost. So negative 50 spell point cost. Pretty neat. Um, <laughs> with that, with that there, you know that lasts 12 seconds. So let me show you how I spike. I use Stiffen Skin, two spell points. Boop, real quick. I use that right before I go into a fight. Now as I'm going into the fight, I throw Cinder Smoke on the group. This blinds them. You know, if you have the high saves, you're gonna blind them. Then one spell point, real quick, Vial Flame, boop. And then Smoke Bomb. This turns you invisible and displaces you for 12 seconds. So look at this here. I use this, puts me in my reaction. These should be on the same exact timer. That was weird that they didn't, they're not. But basically, when you're not invisible anymore, you know your reaction's gone. So, when I'm normal, see? And you see that pop up too. So, uh, that's a pretty cool thing. Only 12 spell points for that, or 24. Whatever, no big deal. So now, when you're spiking, you can cast two of these multi-vials and two elemental combinations. You can cast this. Uh, fiery obliteration you can cast the multi vial you know a single one you can cast some of these do your dragon breath you can do a lot in 12 seconds that you won't think you would be able to do let me get into the enhancements here there's this neat little thing called burning ambition you get burning ambition dice it's more damage after every cast after every spell cast basically so I cast a spell, it does additional damage that scales with fire spell power, or whatever spell power you have. You know, you get some more dice, I think you get two here, what do you get, another one here, uh, one here. So you get some dice, some extra dice here, that goes up, that pumps up pretty high actually, and then you get another one, if you advance, and get Inferno Creation, you get another Burning Ambition dice. Now if you read this, if I'm reading this correctly, and I think I am, um, when you cast three different element types, 
you will apply a stack of vulnerability. So if you look at this here, you can cast elemental combination twice in a spike, in a reaction spike. So elemental combination, it does three random selections among poison, fire, cold, acid, and electric. There's three different spell powers, spell types. So if you look at this, three different elements, you know, they get a stack of vulnerability. So you apply a stack of vulnerability to a group of enemies with this elemental combination. So that's two more percent that you just add on. That's a little extra damage. Plus the burning ambition dice, you know. It's, it adds up really fast. And it's just a cool amount of extra damage. So, you have multi-vial and SLA. The fire or obliteration, however you say it, as an SLA. You get this as an SLA. And then you just get the normal multi vial. So now all of those that I just stated get 10 to their max caster level when you get Master of Spell Vials, which is right here. Multi vial, spell vial, elemental obliteration. Yep, 10 to the max caster levels. So that's fun. It's a lot of extra caster levels. You pick up some extra caster levels here. You're going to be doing some major damages. Now, as you can see, I just want Bombardier mostly and then Harper Agent. Harper Agent, I want, and you know, right off the bat, you're getting the spell points. Um, you get a little extra defenses along the way. You can get some more energy resist, whatever. But mainly, I went for the intel because you get two in the core, then you get two up here. I picked up all the intels, all the juicy stuff out of Harper Agent, did all the Bombardier, and then I had some points left over. So I went and no one picked up the extra intel. Then I had some extra points, you know, why not spend it in Apothecary, get some extra spell points, four more to your armor class, meaning the magic missiles, that's fun. And then this, of course, you want this for your reaction, two spell points. And uh, that's kind of where my uh, thought process was on all the enhancements here. Now, I'm in Draconic. I could get rid of these two things, pick up some intel, maybe get rid of flyby attack, get rid of this, pick up the other intel, but what's the point? I didn't go the energy burst route because you need to be close to them. I, I just didn't feel like that was... You know, reliable as a spellcaster. I'm probably gonna dump this, get even more intel. Cause the point, the reason why I didn't get go energy burst, is I want to pick up more intelligence. You know, cause I know how frustrating it is at end game, not being able to get past the enemy's saves. It's just a huge waste of spell points and time, and it could set you up for failure. So that's my my process behind it. Um, plus, you gotta wait for the cooldown. I don't know what the cooldown is on this, to be honest with you. I forget. But I could pick up some cool things like fly by attack, get this for extra spell points. You know, pop this if you're the last one in your group that survived somehow and you gotta wait on timer. You know, just pop this, run away, use your sprint boost. All that good stuff. Let's see, well, what else am I missing here? Um, Well, I talked a little bit about endgame. A little bit about the buffs, all that stuff the alchemist has to offer, the spiking, my enhancements, my epic destiny. Now for feats, for the epic feats, I just took deific warding, 10 extra MR, PR, why not? There wasn't really anything else. I could have got some more heal lamp, I believe. Epic spell power, fire, of course. Scion plane of fire for more crit damage. 10 more PR, MR, more spell power, embolden, intensify, master spell vials, wellspring power, just generic stuff. Um, for the feats, I got the intel to will, I got evasion, um, you get your alchemist feats, I got the advanced alchemical studies pyrite for more max caster levels. Uh, yep, I already went over those. Um, and then I got, you know, the meta magics. And I also picked up uh, greater spell focus conjuration. You know, 
basic things. Say not 5k spell points, almost, you know, not too bad. And I only have a 250 topaz of power. I can't wait to like gear up this tune completely. I'm going to be running this on all my racials and epics um, for a little while. So let's get into that. Uh, heroics. This is, in my opinion, the best spellcaster to level up in in heroics, at least early game. And even through end game, because you get all these extra defenses as you go. The progression feels really nice and smooth. You're always getting something each level. And right off the bat, you know, I made the mistake of getting just like this one SLA Vile of Flame and then picking up like Vile of Flame here and then getting the, the stiffened skin, gills extract, feather extract. Don't do that to yourself. Pick up all of these vials. They're just two spell points. You know, with all of these and this SLA, you can go through R1s really easily. You know, they're fast to cast. You can kill Reapers quick with them. They're two spell points. You don't mind to magic them. You just get a um, universal spell power item or like Bracers of Wind, something like that. Get a Slave Lord set if you wanted to for your DCs. And then you go into level two, you get a better version of each of those spells, more single targets, yes. And then you get two level, what is it, level four spells. You get, you start getting your AOEs, your your Cinder Smoke, Caustic Overlord, or over, yeah, Overload. Jeez, I've been talking a lot. Vein Freeze. You get a bunch of cool things. Really simple to level up, really fast. You know, run away with Sprint Boost. You got your Displacement if you need to. Just grab some Displacement Clickies if you want. No big deal. Pretty fun stuff. Once you hit level 10 and get the Barovian gear you know you get the heroic version of this belt you, you start taking off big time then when you hit level 12 get the max caster levels fiery obliteration you get your burning ambition dies more conjuration dcs and this is when you can focus on one spell power i chose fire it uh makes enemies vulnerable it's similar to the sork you know how they uh, break their vulnerability after casting a, a spell. Um, same thing. So once you hit level 12, it's just a breeze. You know, do quests and high level reapers at that point if you want to buy yourself. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And that's uh, that's basically it. Um, I'll be coming out with more videos of me actually like running maybe this quest because I've been standing here. Just you know, jumping back and forth at it. Um, I'll come out with more videos, more detailed guys. I want, I wanted to keep this a quick video, but I think it's been going on for a bit here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. But just stay tuned for more content with this alchemist because I'm having a blast, and I just want to share it with everybody. Um, I hope it gets a pretty good rep. You know, uh, so far. Um, some people have talked about, you know, they compare it to Sorks, or like if you're going, if you're going Bombardier, you know, you might as well do a Sork instead, blah, 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 they're better. I, I don't know, they're both comparable. They each have their own different things. And uh, I'm just going to leave it on that. If you guys have any questions, just, just ask. Um, and yeah. Alright, well. a little bow. All right. See you guys and gals. Bye.